left to merge onto I-69 South. All right, Bless Fam, I'm on my way to the Chevy Corvette Expo. And I'm running a little late, so I don't recommend you guys try this at home. Um, I'll be cutting off a couple of cars and jumping a couple of freeways. Do not try this at home. Alright guys, you know, uh, there are some events I just got to be sure and be on time, you know what I'm talking about? And this is one of them. So we're a little early, but uh, let's see what they got. Yeah, there. I see the muscle cars of Texas is here as usual. Alright, we'll start it off with this beautiful C5 convertible. Yeah, there. Now that uh, C5 also came in a Z06 with the hard top. I like. Now we got this beauty right here. Beautiful red C8. This I like. Then we got this beautiful black and red right here with the chrome wheels. I do respect that. Gotta respect the chrome. You don't see that that often with the Lambo doors. Yeah, there. Beautiful red and black interior. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. The beautiful. Got the beautiful C7 in the building with the model car. So you already know he got extra points just by having the model car here. And we got the C7 Z06 in the building. Or 40th anniversary. Yeah, her. And you guys have heard me say numerous amount of times, uh, this is the 40th anniversary. They did not have a 30th anniversary. So this has to be the 93. In 83, when they came out with this body style, uh, they did not have a 30th anniversary because they actually didn't get released and GM has some issues. But you can go to my old video to hear that whole story. Beautiful Stingray. Little red carpet. Talk about chrome, jeez. Got enough chrome for you guys? Even the alternator, God almighty. Yes, sir. Next to this beautiful blue stingray. I like these wheels on here. The wheels almost give it that Datsun 280 look, don't it? You guys agree? Comment if you agree. The wheels almost give it a Datsun 280 look. But I like it. Blue on blue, blue interior. C8 Z51 edition. God almighty. What a beauty. Jeez. Rose gold tow hook in the front. Love that wheel offset. And the wheels are 
Ding, 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 ding. You guessed it. Arrow Larry's. This is two of four eighty-eight, four ninety-nine. Two of four ninety-nine. Shout out to my boy Arrow Larry, the guy who made my custom wheels. We're not gonna uh, go into the story of me being the first, but I end up with three of four ninety-nine. Should have been one, but we had some communication issues. <laughs> For lack of a better term, we'll just say we had some communication issues. So I wanted to be three of four ninety-nine. Together. Beautiful. Look at the space. Man, this would kill if they had a wide body kit on there. I hope you guys can see the space from them lips on that grill sticking out. And then we got a beautiful C4, which is one of my favorite bits. C4, LT1. Love the LT1 engines, man. I think it's some of the best engines they came out with. Uh, again, everybody loves the LS because of all the aluminums and all the upgrades you can do to it with today's technology, but C4 is still one of my favorites. Beautiful. Now, we'll take the party inside. Yeah, sir, I didn't get to get this for you guys earlier, man, but here we go. He got the trunk up. Spider-Man is in the building. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, sir, and he just got these at Rolaris, he said, a couple weeks ago. I'm going to show you guys what it looked like. Uh, he said he was here last year, and I'm sure I got him on the video. I'm going to show you what it looked like last year on his jacket. And this is what it looked like last year. These are the wheels he had on it last year. And he transformed it and went with these arrow Larrys right here a couple of weeks ago, he's saying. Yes, yeah, sir. Plastic. I take it everywhere. Not a, ne never trip. Never trip. Nice. Nice. All right, guys, let's get it started. Starting out with the C2. And take it on down the line. Let's see one. Now I'm gonna assume this is the spare tire for the C1. And as you know, the CH do not come with a spare tire. <laughs> you don't have AAA or insurance to cover towing. You just hit out of luck. I said hit out of luck. And also on the C3, uh, C3s, I'm not sure if it's all the models, but C3s didn't come with the trunk either. We'll get deep into that later. Got this beautiful Chevelle in the building. I haven't looked at the tail lights, but I would guess a 70. Matter of fact. Oh, 72. Okay. 72. Like I said, I haven't looked at the tail lights. It's usually a dead giveaway. Okay, the round tail lights. Double round tail lights. All right. SS in the building. I'm going to take the party over to the convertible. Come out. Nice. I used to think this was the Corvette Expo until I found out it's actually the Chevy Corvette, the Corvette Chevy Expo. For a second, I thought this was Howie Bentley's, but his is not uh, candy blue. It is uh, more of a baby blue, sky blue, if you will. We'll find them. We'll run across them here somewhere. Hold on. What we got over here with the devil eyes? Now this is a 70. I don't even have to get to the tail lights. And I can tell you this is a 70. It's not a 69. It could possibly be a set up 70. Yeah, or like that lip on the back. That I do like. Beautiful. The trunk look like it's never been driven. And these are the taillights I was looking for when I said I'll go to the taillights on the other one. Now here is Mr. Howard Bentley right here. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Corvette Chevy Expo. This is Mr. Howard Bentley. He's right here. I don't see him. 
But here is this beautiful car. Are we in Renee Bentley in the building? This is the owner of Classic Chevrolet where I purchased my car bit. This is uh this belongs to the owner of Classic Chevrolet. Right here. Right here. Classic Auto Group Galveston. And here's the one that started it all. 1953 Chevrolet Corvette, the very first Corvette to ever see the streets. With the yellow one next to it. I remember this one from last year with the green top. Yes, sir. The tailpipe's coming out of the rear bumper. I think they could go back to that. I think if they went back to that, that'd be a pretty nice idea. The exhaust coming out the rear bumper. And this one is actually a 55. So this one is two years newer than this one. 53 when it started and then a 55. Now here's what's always puzzled me. On today's cars, when they make changes to the headlights and taillights, uh, they call it a new gen. This is still the first gen Corvette. This is still the first gen Corvette. But you'll see instead of the single big headlight with the chrome netting, it has the double headlights. But this is still considered a C1. And then uh, the one that had the fins on the back, you'll notice this one does not have the fins. If you're looking from the back, you can almost confuse these with the uh, C2, because the C2 pretty much kept this tail in. Split bumper, little small double tail lights. Uh, C2 kept that rear end, but it's a big difference to me between the C1 53 model and this model, but it's still the same gen. Now they'll make changes to the taillights and headlights and call it a new gen, even on the Camaros. Beautiful 57. Double carburetor. Gotta have those in sync or it will run like crap. Again, with the exhaust coming out of the bumper. Now here's my baby old yellow. I didn't have a convertible, but I did have the C5 in this color. I miss it, big time. Beautiful 53 Chevy. I saw one of these, when the first time I saw one of these, I thought somebody took a Camaro and <laughs> created a, a label, but it's actually called the Cameo. Right here. It's actually called the Cameo. And I'm like, are they trying to pay homage to the group Cameo? Or are they trying to bounce off the name of Camaro? But it's actually a Cameo, Apache. Yeah, there. Like that leather with the red accents. Sixty-three. This is the only year with a split window. 1963. After 63, they done away with the split windows. A lot of people were complaining about not being able to see out the back very well. And that's the most popular, iconic Corvette to ever live. 1963 split window. Yes, sir. Again, you guys may have heard me saying uh, that there are certain models that did not come with the trunk. This is one of them. C2 1963 Corvette does not have a trunk. 
All right, guys, here where we enter into the actual main theater of the building. And uh, there was music playing, so here's where I overlap it with my own. All right, here we go. Cue the music. second I thought this was the zero one that's similar to the hood that comes on the CA zero one but I actually got to see it first that is a mean hood I do like that
right, blessed fam. We came, we saw, we conquered. I'm out.